like the divine empress coming through. I'm a little upset. I'm gonna keep it 100% honest. I'm a little upset. I am getting very frustrated with hearing all these narratives about men, inadequate men. So if it ain't for you, you might wanna click off. But some of y'all, I, I don't understand the way of thinking. We talking about men 35, 40, 50, 60 years old. One, don't want to let go of their youth. Having all these midlife crises where the they don't want women their age because women expect for you to demonstrate and be a man and be strong. Someone that she can lean on. So y'all go out here and either deal with multiple women or go get the youngest thing that don't know which shoelace going what shoe because you can control her. What type of insecurities do you guys have? How many hugs from your mother did you miss? Was daddy not there? And I think all of these is ill excuses of people that don't want to look at the reality of things. We all have had screwed up childhoods. All of our parents was running off autopilot most times. They ain't know what they was doing. They was out here humping, not expecting to raise children. They did not know what they were doing. Okay? But how dare you make the rest of the world pay for it because you're bitter? Why can't you get over it like the rest of us did? Half of you dudes mad because daddy wasn't in the house but at least you knew who the dude was. Imagine going your whole life being a grown ass woman and still don't even know what your father looks like and still have to swallow that and move on. But y'all out here abusing women. Man, some of this stuff that I'm hearing is ridiculous. I'm so tired of hearing these narratives from broken men, men children that haven't even grown up just walking around in grown avatars. Y'all out here impregnating women on purpose for places to stay, for room and board, or just because you mad at her for whatever reason, you decide you just want to impregnate her to leave her to suffer. Not to mention, most of you dudes with these characteristics, y'all serial cheaters. Y'all can be in whole relationships and you will not acknowledge your woman when it comes to other women. You will sit and lie. No, I'm not married. You taking your rings off. I'm not married. Uh, I don't have any kids. Hey, for y'all don't even mention the fact that y'all have seven, eight kids at home that y'all don't take care of. But then you want to you get with these women, <clears throat> and some of them, you see things in these women you don't see in yourself being as a man, and it messes with your pride. When are you going to mend up and stop looking at blaming the women for everything, for everything? When are you guys going to be accountable and say, you know what, I'm the problem? Because there's no way you have the same problem with four, five, six different women and it be everyone else but you. You can have dudes that will cheat on a girl for years. Will cheat on her for years. Make babies on her and all types of stuff. And then as soon as she get fed up, she want to leave. Or she, 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 she screw one of your friends or some of this other stuff, then you mad. But how long did you dish it out? You so much of a man, you telling me you can't take no L's? You dish out a whole bunch of them, you can't take none? This is too much whole stuff to me, man. For real. And I, and I say that respectfully, like, Come on, you cannot look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a grown-ass man, and you out here abusing the fuck out of multiple women. 
You guys spend your adulthood doing this. Like, come on, man. A chick leaves, she got to get restraining orders because you're trying to beat her up. Uh, she got to move clear across states and all this old nonsense because you and your feelings. You done cheated on this girl and disrespected her and made her look so bad to where she run. But it ain't over till you say it's over, right? You Ike, right? The fuck? Y'all dudes, man. Are poor excuses. I'm sorry. And I hate to say it because I love men. But this is going on too much. It's too normalized. It's too normalized. Like, this is crazy, man. The, the state of the world right now, ain't no God in half of these places. More people are doing witchcraft and manipulating people. And we talking about love spells, blood magic, domination spells, all of this stuff to control another person. You are not God. No human being has control over anyone. If you neglect to see a blessing you had in somebody... And you lose them. You got to take that L on the chin. You can't try to handcuff a chick and put fear in her. Just so you can abuse her some more. Like, I, I mean, the severity of this stuff. Like, you, you guys be out here trying to kill these women. Some of you do do it. You torment these women. You intentionally get them pregnant to leave them to be single mothers and then don't ch pay child support. You you dudes will not work or work under the table just so you don't have to provide for your child. Just to get back at her. What type of whole shit is that? That's really female shit. You can be cheating on a girl sun up to sundown out of both pants legs. We talking about screwing people on a girl job, screwing people where she live at, screwing her family, screwing her friends. And then either she say, all right, I'm out. Or she go hard and screw one of your friends. You can't take it. You and your feelings. How dare you weak ass. Man, come on, man. Y'all need to tighten up. 